So most of the physics that we have today is really the physics developed in the last century in the context of inanimate matter. And it's a physics that hasn't really come to terms with life, living systems, and things like consciousness. So about a hundred years ago, Albert Einstein gave us a framework to see how energy and matter could be uh, put on some kind of equal footing, popularly known as e equals mc squared. And that had profound implications in trying to understand uh, the interplay of matter and energy. However, in order for physics to come to terms with how biology and living systems work, I felt that we have to expand that framework to include not just matter and energy, but matter, energy, and information, and how the three of those are in constant interplay with each other. And you could now expand information uh, in the context of this word consciousness, which we will come to later because that now has a loaded definition. You know, different people have different definitions for consciousness. Uh, David Bohm talked about this idea of active information. I felt that we had to expand the mathematical machinery of physics to put matter, energy, and information, and maybe even deal with this thing called consciousness in some sort of equivalent footing so we could understand how the three of these things interplay with each other.